Hello everyone, thanks for dropping by. Those of you who are familiar with the MGTOW philosophy will no doubt know that it's been under sustained attack for over a decade now from various sectors of the anti-man establishment and especially from the feminist part of it. Now that uh, attack on the philosophy will sort of morph into a new direction from a law that's been trying to be established here in England and will no doubt sooner or later cross the Atlantic into America and Canada, namely the subject of misogyny. Now looking around on the weekend, I found this. As you can see it's from a site called Rush and the main title is Misogyny is now classified as a hate crime in, in England and Wales, or so they hoped. This article sort of jumped the gun and it was more or less wishful thinking. It's from the announcement from the Home Office that misogyny will now be re recorded as a hate crime in England and Wales following the murder of Sarah Everard and campaigners like the Fawcett Society and the MP Stella Creasy has put pressure on Boris and his government for tougher legislation to protect women from harm. Now that was done, as I said, on March 22nd. On October 5th, the BBC cottoned onto it and jumped on the bandwagon with this article, Misogyny, Why Is It Not a Hate Crime? Obviously, as there's a question mark, they're wondering why it's not been put into law by October. And it says after the killing of Sarah Everard, the issue of violence against women and girls is at the forefront of many minds in Westminster. Figures from across the political spectrum are pouring forward proposals. Obviously, it's not law, they're just pouring ideas of how to tackle the ongoing blight in our society. But one proposal in particular has re emerged in light of the tragic events. The idea is to make misogyny prejudice against women a hate crime but what would that mean in practice and why hasn't it already been introduced i.e they're wondering why now moving on the house of lords jumped on the bandwagon the house of lords doesn't really have any legal or executive powers it's just like a debating chamber something like the european commission a useful echo chamber when people air their opinions. But this was done on November 22nd. In focus, hate crime is used to describe criminal behaviour by the victim or the person perceives. Notice the word perceive. These aspects of a person's identity are referred to as protected characteristics and have been recent calls to extend the protected characteristics to cover sex and gender. This would see misogyny become a hate crime. But it all came to a screeching halt in December when the Law Commission says it's not on. Campaign to make misogyny a hate crime rebuffed by the Law Commission. Now the Law Commission over here in Britain is like a non-government body who's composed of professional barristers and lawyers whose main job is to look at laws and to see if there any common sense and if not to say you can't put that into law it's not common sense so we're putting a stop to it the government can't do much about the law commission as they're sort of extended beyond the law making capacity of a government and they keep the government in check however it says proponents will continue to push after legal consultation proposes different measures to tackle sex and gender-based hostility. There, it says a, a coalition of women's rights campaigners have voiced their disappointment and frustration after the Law Commission decided to reject a proposal to make misogyny a hate crime. It might have been stopped, but they're not going to give up because they want to make it a hate crime. Now, the question is, in my mind, as I read these articles, how will this affect the MGTOW philosophy? As you all know, those of you who are MGTOWs and those who have heard of it, real, true MGTOWs just want to live a peaceful life and just not bother with women, i.e. don't cohabit, don't get married, 
and don't make a woman pregnant, as in men, that's men going their own way and looking after themselves. Now, if misogyny ever does become a hate crime here in England and Wales, what's the chance that the American legal system will start to see about putting that into American legal matters and treating MGTOWs as misogynists and treating MGTOWs as guilty of a hate crime, even though a MGTOW like myself, sort of MGTOW light that is, has never done anything against women and we just live peacefully. It's a sort of bit of a worrying trend, but the Law Commission seems to have nipped it in the bud and stopped it at least for now here in England and Wales. The question is, what will be the next step for these groups of feminists who want to make men suffer and using the MGTOW hate legislation as a way to do it? Of course, I'll put all the links below so you can have a proper read of these articles, but it's something that is a new development in the way guys and women treat each other. Anyway, I think this video's on 10 minutes now. I can't really get much done with my webcam. As you know, with the last two videos I've done, I've had the problems with it, namely because it's 12 feet from where I'm sitting and not a couple of feet as normally if it was on a desk. Right, people, you know the routine. Like, dislike, comment, and subscribe. It's completely up to you. So until next Monday, that's it for this one. Bye-bye.